It's just not fair. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator and welcome to my Dayton Dissects of Just Get Through. A fantastic game by Retrific Games, which is based in Germany. We'll jump right into it. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we're at level 20 now, which is about where I think I'll cut in. This is a fantastic game. I love the soundtrack. I love the style. Uh, right now I have, like, a bunch of jumpy ability, so that's why I'm going super high. Uh, usually you can only jump, like, one block up. But there's so many different types of traps and so many, uh, different types of upgrades, and everything's randomly generated. Uh, some of the levels I really like, like this is a really good run so far, <laughs> and I wish I could save the seed so I could try it again, but unfortunately that's not the case. There is, uh, d nine different, uh, modes, I believe, and you get, see these upgrades? Yeah, I'm gonna jump even higher. Even higher! We're gonna do the thing! Yes. Lots of, uh, axes, lots of saws, shotguns. Dildo machines coming out of the wall. Bloop. <laughs> and actually, you can see the wall degrade as like I jump against it. You can use dynamite to explode the walls and kind of circumvent some puzzles that might be too hard. Or you can rub your butt against the wall until it falls apart. Which I think is a pretty cool option. Boosh! Blowed up that droid. If you don't have good jumpy ability or good running, uh, those things will get you every time. I don't have running at the moment. I went all jumps, so... Oops. <laughs> it, it would be a good idea for me to uh, invest in some running speed so I can kind of just jet past him. But at the moment... Badoosh! Yeah, make that a little easier to do for me. I'm just having a good old time. I only got four lives, so I'm trying to be extra cautious and uh, use my dynamite instead of risking things. But, oh fuck. Damn it. Why always this? <laughs> it's just not fair. Alright. It's fine. I got caught by the fan, but we know the fan's there now. We could blow up the fan if we wanted. That's the kind of game this is. Just get through. We give you so many tools to get through. Don't you want to get through? Holy shit. Almost died. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh, thank God. I don't know how often it gives you those upgrades. It seems like every two or three levels to me. Um, we'll see if we can work our way through again. Dango. Only got three lives. Okay. Need to make a count. Now we got four. Dango. Dango. Hit these checkpoints. Checkpoints are so important. So you're not like replaying levels and... Oh. I want that heart. I blow this with dynamite. Yeah. Wonderful. Most good. <laughs> uh, and I need more life items for sure. Crazy dudes were like level 30 something. Fucking just nuts, man. <laughs> 35. Yeah, this game is so crazy. And uh, it really is random. Sometimes I get my shit handed to me really hard. But today we're having a good run, it seems like, which is nice, because I've been uh, talking most of the way through this. Damn. We've also recovered most of our life, which you may have noticed. Pretty, pretty fortunate there. Indeed, yes. Oh, please get the droid. Yes, we did it. I want that dynamite too. Bloop. Hooray! So I'll get to my score breakdown right quick, and uh, we'll just keep playing this thing until I die, I guess. It should be pretty close. We're on level 30, whatever. It's a doomy sort of game. Oh my. So, for the controls, I've given it a 10 out of 10. Extremely, extremely serviceable. Extremely, extremely tight. Everything that it needs to be, for sure. Um, yeah, couldn't really do it better. Uh, even gamepad support works relatively well. And it's clean. It's so clean. Look at that. Boosh! Right over the land one. Mine. Makes me feel like such a boss. <laughs> The fun factor, I've given a 9 out of 10. Extremely, extremely fun game. Extremely replayable. Keeps me coming back for more. Um, I did knock a point off just because it does get frustrating if you get stuck in a randomly generated uh, shit heap, basically. 
uh, things, things can get frustrating, especially if you don't have the dynamite to, uh, create your own exit. God damn, I'm gonna lose all my lives right here. But, uh, definitely overall, pretty good on the fun factor at a 9 out of 10. Damn. Difficulty, I've also given the 10 out of 10. Um, lots of lots of new enemies. Jesus Christ. As you work your way through the game, um, eventually you'll start seeing like rocket droids and shit like that. That's really hard to get past. These landmines obviously weren't in the first level. These chainsaws, these Gatling guns. It's it's just going crazy over here. Definitely ramps up the difficulty. Um, I've only been to like level 30, 30 something, 36, 38. And I can only imagine what's past level 40. It's fucking horrifying. But if you're looking for difficulty, look no further. See, I destroyed that wall with my butt. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna destroy this with my head. Hooray! Hooray! I'm gonna get a color palette. Yes! Get my collectible on. Whoa, there's a fucking rocket thing up there. Alright, now they're starting to appear. Here they come. Ay, ay, ay. Replayability, I've given the 10 out of 10. Every time I boot up this game, get a little further, find out something new. It's fun as hell. I, I find myself coming back for more. Um, I've given it to a couple of friends to try out. They find themselves coming back for more. Hugely replayable game and extremely cheap as well. And there's even cool stuff written on the signs. <laughs> so, um, so innovation I've given a 7 out of 10. It's kind of your standard uh, platforming fare, I suppose. But it's really tightened up and I like the dynamite um, option. You can just throw dynamite at things that give you trouble and uh, it offers something new compared to what I've seen before. Um, although a lot of it I have seen before, you know, saws and well, the dildo machine's coming out of the wall. It fucking that's that's new to me. But uh, you know, saws and axes been there before. It definitely uh, works out just fine here, though. Innovations to seven out of ten. Graphics I've given an eight out of ten. Uh, they're definitely lo-fi. I think they were going for maybe an Atari kind of feel here. But they're good enough that you can see the dude's hair flopping around when he's jumping. Uh, he crushes grass as he walks, which I think is really awesome. You can see uh, spatters of blood where I have died previously. There's another one. I think those are all really, really awesome things that add to the graphics score. Um, I would like to see things stepped up a little bit. The color palette swaps are cool. However, um, I'd like to see just a little more added to it. Um, I think some some color palette swaps could be like more realistic perhaps instead of just like oh well now everything's this color. Just a little more uh, definition is all I ask. Damn, I hate this. <laughs> Alright, so um, music, graphics I've given an 8 out of 10, music I've given a 10 out of 10. It's extremely crunchy, lo-fi, kind of a uh, nice sounding electro, deserving of going on your iPod, definitely for sure. Um, even if you don't like electro particularly, it's just low, works really well in the background, I think it fits perfectly. I put it on at a party or something, I think it's that good. Uh, the sound effects I've given the 7 out of 10 can be a little grating, uh, especially when you start the level that, in that, like, doot sound. Wow. The doot sound really gets to me, but I think it's like Pavlovian or something because I just know that pain is coming every time I hear it. Oh god! Oh Jesus! Rocket joints! Oh no! I can't, I can't jump past him. This is bad. I got nine lives. Nine lives! I'm like a kitty. So yeah, seven out of ten for the sound effects. Ooh, god damn it! Ball of dirt! This is cruel, man. Uh, the story I've given a 0 out of 10. There is no story to be had here, unfortunately. It's kind of a beautiful thing because it doesn't really need it, but I also feel that it's a missed opportunity. Because if you're going to make a game, why not have a story? Um, I like to be have games give me things to think about. So um, I think this this story could, this game could benefit from uh, a well-written story. Or any story at all. I just want a little something motivate me to get through this level I mean the fact that I can't get through it is pretty good motivation but just a little more couldn't hurt god damn these fucking rocket droids are gonna murder me dude oh ah! I can't even make it blow itself up it's so cruel 
Oh no! No! Oh, I jumped into the axe! Oh, story's a 0 out of 10. Level design, I've given the 9 out of 10. The first few levels are definitely a joke in a way. It's just kind of like, oh, run down this path and avoid this one spike and uh, you're at the exit. And then the later levels just get fucking insane. But overall, I think for a randomly generated game, it's extremely impressive what uh, Retrific has been able to pull off here. I'm... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited to start up a new run and just see how my character can be built differently. I know one time I had uh, more of a speedrunnery guy, and uh, this guy has a lot of jump height and a lot of max health, which we... We were close, we were over like 20 hearts, but I fucking lost them all to rocket droids, unfortunately. And we'll just go in there, yeah. That'll work just fine. Level 38, dude. Dude! Dude! Oh, so the final score for Just Get Through is an 80 out of 100. That is a flat 4 out of 5 stars. For $5, it really doesn't get much better than this, I suppose. What the fuck, that little brick killed me. And that saw killed me. I, I knew the saw was gonna kill me. Oh, door! Well, that's could have saved me a life or two. <laughs> There's lots of shortcuts in this game. Oh my god. And uh, lots of dangerous traps, but definitely something that I enjoy. You should give it a try if uh, it's within your budget. It's on sale right now for the winter sale for like 99 cents. So you really can't lose. Honestly, I. Uh, I want to buy this for everybody on my friends list. <laughs> oh, if only I had $100 to drop on that. Maybe someday. Someday I will. Anyways, friends, this is my last life. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope that you will join us for the next time. This has been Just Get Through and Another Date Dissects. Until then, bye bye One, two... Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.